to the world according to Jesse. I'm Brigitte Santos. Today's digital sharing economy looks at markets in terms of resource abundance and increasing returns. It's a complete reversal of traditional economics, which view markets in terms of resource scarcity and diminishing returns. Think about borrowing an electric scooter off the street or renting a movie on iTunes. You use these items when you need them and you give them up when you're done. The sharing economy is changing the way humans consume while simultaneously creating new ways to generate income. It also shows that access to goods might be more important than outright owning them. This is a great idea, okay? And uh, on top of what they talk about here, which is what they just said about how things get used all the time like I've got bicycles who've been sitting around for years uh, now I'm not saying that people shouldn't be allowed to own things that they cherish like I've got I'm 58 years old and I've got my 10 speed from from uh, that I got in ninth grade and I don't ride it but I'm planning on riding it actually because I had to get rid of my other 10 speed because it was too small for me. Um, but I have things that I would much rather be able to just say, get on the internet and say, have somebody drop off a, you know, a blender. Because <laughs> I use it like once in a lifetime, right? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what they're talking about. But now here's a crucial point. And that is that every time something breaks, we throw it away. I see vacuum cleaners out on the curb all the time. All this stuff. And I guess it just goes into landfill. But it should get fixed and be made available. And the only reason that we're in this throwaway economy, this consumer economy, is because it's being used as a mechanism to uh, take away the money from the people and flow it back into the rich and as a mechanism to keep them in power and keep their their economic use the economic system their economic system that they've set up to keep them in power now if everything that ever broken was fixed and made available for people they wouldn't be able to get their money back. The rich wouldn't be able to get their money back because they wouldn't be able to force us to go out and just buy another one. You know, so I mean, this uh, circle jerk, you know, this revolving door, um, yeah, I mean, we pay people money to work. I mean, you just take it right back away from us. And really, the problem with the economy now, and has been, and really to a certain extent always has been, is that they're taking more than they give. Now they want not only to make us give them back their money, they consider it their money if they were to be honest about it, but, but now they want us to write them IOUs for it. You see how that works? Well, what are those IOUs for? They're to keep us in line. You know, keep everybody in debt. Don't ever give them any power of their own. So, so I say this is a great idea. And also uh, to have a place that anything that's broken can be fixed. But I think through this system, a lot of stuff that would be broken would be fixed because as these things were picked up after people used them like say somebody wanted a bike and they could when they returned it then it would be uh, gone over with a fine tooth comb anything that was broken on it would be fixed and a bike that would last somebody in their house maybe uh, five years would last a thousand years which would eliminate having to build new bicycles. I mean, at some point, there'd be so many bicycles, they'd just say, okay, 
we don't need to buy any more of your bicycles. So whatever, whatever is the case. But but you see my point that uh, on top of what they're saying here, and maybe they say it later on in the video. I haven't watched the whole thing. I probably will though, because I love Jesse Ventura. I think that he is brilliant. Um, his support for libertarianism is perfect. He does not support libertarianism in the ways that it shouldn't be supported, just based on uh, a modicum of intelligence, you know. But he does support it in terms of, you know, liberty. I mean, we do progressives support liberty, for sure. They don't pr support libertarianism and it's all its infinite stupidity, but we support liberty. So, I support Jesse. I think he was the greatest governor ever in this country. Ever. And I think that uh, he will go down in his history as being a brilliant man and a fantastic person. That's not really what this segment was about, but I've always wanted to say that. So, there you go.